Gilbert Street Jan Thrawals has a lot of events, a lot of hearts, a lot of things to do, and they all reward you with a lot of their currency from their maps. But is it worth getting? Is it worth doing hearts every day to get this currency in the first place? Yeah, let's talk about it. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Go to my Ko-Fi if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So, these currency are, are useful for a lot of things. You have the Morsat, um, what's it, the Morsat currency and the Honey currency from the other map. And all of them can be used in hearts in order to get specific uh, collectibles, little minis, skins, recipes for decorations, and of course, armor as well. The Titan Plate armor is in there. But... There's other things that you can do to actually make gold out of them. First thing that is very, very good to do is using it to get these daily keys. If you go to the unusual coin uh, vendor in each of these maps, they'll give you code and cashy keys for two of the more sad currency, 20, 21 of these ones, and then uh, four for one uh, of these currencies. And it is actually very good because each of them are like 30 silver. Now, this might actually change and eventually not, might not be worth it, but right now it is. This is equivalent to 7 gold and 85 silver at the prices of right now before 25 keys that you can get daily. Now, what should you be using? Which currency to buy the code and cash keys? You mean you can use any of them, actually. It doesn't really matter. You can use the more subtle ones from here or the honey ones from uh, the Astro Moon Camp. I probably will actually recommend to use the honey one particularly because there's just so many events in Lowland Shore that you can farm, right? There's just so many. And in in here, it's just the meta and kind of nothing else. So just definitely see how much you have of each of them and try and make them, you know, kind of similar to each other. Not, you know, not, not have too much of one, not much of the other, and just, you know, use that to, uh, to choose. Now, what else can you do with this beautiful currency? Well... There's two things that you can do, well, actually one, but you can do it in both maps, to get more gold out of this currency, even after the daily. So if you go to this heart in um, <clears throat> in Janther Century, Forge Hunt, Waypoint, and, or if you go to the Lowland Shore Autumn's Veil vale right here, if you talk to their vendor, you're going to see that you can actually buy Serpent's Wrath Weapon Choice Box. And this weapon actually sells for around three gold each sometimes even more which is super super good for 10 of the currency yeah it requires a bit of karma but you'll be fine with that right this is absolutely great just think about this every time you're making 10 of this currency you're making three gold that's actually pretty good now of course this will sell a little bit slow so buy one sell it when it actually arrives sell another one right you can actually access this vendor even without finishing the heart, which is super, super, super good. Now, now these weapons don't particularly look insanely good. If you really like them, you should definitely, you can unlock them for yourself instead of selling them. They look pretty nice. They have a good amount of detail. And maybe, actually, with the next patch, we'll be able to upgrade them into another one with a bit more particle effect or maybe a bit more detail. Honestly, it's very hard to tell, but that's usually what Aenet does. Uh, so I... I could see it and maybe you will have to upgrade it with the currency for example so well, consider that as well do not use all of it we know that most of the um, things that come after the expansion and the next patches are going to be legendaries and they will 100% use those currencies as well so make the choice right think hey do I really want to spend this currency into selling it for a bit more gold three gold each time is it really worth it consider it now now this also makes it so every time you are in these maps, it feels very rewarding because you can just run into gold whenever you want. But just, you know, consider it. I can't really give you the answer of what you want. And there's also a big possibility that next um, next patch, these currencies will be more valuable, right? Uh, maybe the Legendary Spear can be sold and you need these currencies and these currencies will be so more useful for doing the Legendary than this. But right now... Eh, you can probably sell a little bit, you know, just to continue, so, just so you can continue playing the expansion and feeling rewarded for it. Worst case scenario, you can just hoard them, do the events all the time, think that you're actually making gold, because you are, and then, then decide closer to the patch what you're going to do, right? Now, there's also one thing that you can do to get more of this currency every day, which is doing the heart. If you do the heart, not only are you going to get currency from each of these ones, but also you're going to be able to buy one right here for a little bit of karma. In each of them, this is, this happens. And you also have the choice to buy five Curious Morsat currencies or five of the Honeycombs. Um, 
depending on yeah and depending on the map and what it's gonna ask you is gonna ask you for one currency of each uh, of the other map and then three of the materials of the other map as well so in this case it's gonna be the honey flower and the low land pine log but if you go to the other one to the um lowland shore hearts it will ask you for the more one of the more certain currency and it'll ask you for the titan both of the titan ores the um uh, the charged titan ore and the rotten titan umber right um should you be doing this honestly considering the fact that you're going to be asked for three of each and most and all of them are essentially like 10 silver you're going to be asked there is going to be asking you for 60 silver each time you actually purchase this and one of the currency and you're getting five out of it but considering the weapons that you're actually going to get with these currencies buying it is going to be worth it because this is going to ask you for around 1.2 gold because you're going to have to buy them twice and you're going to make like three gold so buying this honestly yeah it's pretty worth it and as i said before if you're not going to buy the weapon you can just do it anyways to get a bit more uh, a bit more currency every day to save it up for later and use it later but you know that these are worth an actual good amount of gold so transforming it in my opinion it is worth it definitely make your decision though but i think honestly if you're gonna purchase it might as well make some gold out of it most people are not gonna be doing this and you could definitely be like okay i'm just gonna buy from each of the hearts and i'm gonna sell one weapon a day that way i'm not actually using my uh, currency that i i uh, earning from playing the game but but only buying the one that i'm actually spending gold for so i'm gonna recover a little bit of my investment and essentially just make gold out of nothing right i'm very very happy that there's so many things to actually do in this expansion i'm very happy that all of the events that are gonna i'm gonna do not only give me hearts but also give me the currencies that i can transform into whatever i want into you know future gold or now gold i think that's something that we kind of missed in soto uh, there was not really a good way of making gold out of doing content in that expansion and this one seems so much easier and so much more fun so honestly i'm very excited for that and now i can you know spend a lot of time in these zones that are honestly very very nice and very beautiful while at the same time making gold and feel rewarded so tell me what you guys think tell me if you like the video tell me if i got anything wrong i definitely planned uh, i'll pin in the comments if anything changes because you know it's a new expansion i might have gotten something wrong and um yeah have fun tell me you guys tell me if you guys are gonna do this or not and uh subscribe to the channel go to my twitch to watch me live go to my ko-fi if you want to support me go to my discord if you want to hang out of stream see you guys around love you bye bye